people in the city they think always that agriculture is producing food but in fact that's not true agriculture is rising plants and plants consist of a lot of biomass which you cannot eat so even any kind of food you harvest from agriculture entails a lot of biomass you cannot eat so even the most productive plants like corn for example or wheat has at least one to one ratio of non-edible biomass the ratio between kernels and straw is one to one and imagine in old times wheat was that size and, and rye was that size with some tiny kernels on top of it and a huge amount of biomass and we have many other biomasses you usually you do not eat full amount of, uh, uh, of, of, of the grain of wheat of course you can eat your full grain bread but people also eat noodles they also eat cake so they they use flour and any kilogram of flour would produce almost half a kilogram of bran non-edible biomass and if you sum up it sum up everything if you would just produce just vegan food you on average you produce four kilograms of biomass per kilogram of vegan food first you have to recognize that this non-edible biomass is absolutely important to maintain agricultural production for instance the bran i told you the bran contains 75 percent of all the phosphorus you take away from the field with the harvest so you must bring this back you must recycle all this uh, non-edible biomass and agriculture is usually doing it since thousands of years this is normal practice you can do this with three strategies you can do this for example uh, through um, uh, leaving in a, on the field and rotten let it rotten on the field but if you do though so you need to bring also the bran on the field you need to bring also the byproducts from the brewery from the oil factory everything you should spread on the field this is very complicated and it's inefficient because release of plant nutrients is anywhere in time but not at that time when the next culture of plants need it or second strategy is biogas put into into a biogas plant produce energy and you have uh, as a residue you have this biogas residues which is a very valuable fertilizer you can store it and you can apply it to the field next year when the plant uh, when the, 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 the food producing plants when they need it or the third strategy is feed it to livestock also livestock produces a very valuable storable fertilizer and being storable is one of the most important properties uh, in this management it is efficient and it helps producing more vegan food than just when you let it rotten on the field but what would you choose um, at home if you um, have the alternative between biogas and livestock both are from the perspective of plant production they have the same efficiency but from biogas uh, you cannot eat you cannot feed yourself but if you feed livestock you have in addition a lot of nutrients you can uh, you can utilize as feed and if you sum this up just by keeping the circularity of this four kilogram of non-edible biomass you almost double the gain of nutrients from a certain area of agricultural area so livestock is a win-win-win situation